Hi friends, uh, Mrs. Quiggle here, just with a quick little reminder about big problems and little problems. Now, I know that a lot of you are at home with your siblings, your brothers and sisters, um, and they maybe are doing their work, or your mom or dad is working from home um, while you are playing and doing some other fun things things with me and Miss Anna or uh, another teacher. Um, and it, it sometimes it's hard to wait for grown-ups to get to be able to play with you, right? Um, and sometimes when you're hanging, playing with your sister or brother, some things happen and it's, you have to decide if it's a big problem or a little problem. So I wanted to remind you of how you decide if something is a big problem or a little problem. Okay, see, I have my big problem circle. That's a pretty big problem. I put that right here make sure that we can see it and then i have a little circle for a little problem sometimes things are a little problem that don't need a lot of help or you don't need a lot of help so if you are wondering what a big problem is let's see what this is this says a bad car accident happens can you see that car crash in that picture yep that is a big problem when there's a car crash Yep, because that somebody could be hurt, a car has to be fixed, that's a bigger problem, right? Let's see, what about this? Somebody else is playing with a toy that you want to play with. Is that a big problem or a little problem? It probably feels like a big problem, but it's a little problem, because if someone else is playing with the toy that you want, you you can wait, you can trade. Remember we talked about that at school? You could take turns, um, you could share the toy. Ooh, we'll have to do that, that, remi that reminder another day. So if that, if someone's playing with a toy that you wanna play with, that's a little problem because you know some ways to handle that. What if somebody fell off the swing and broke their arm? See that person has a broken arm? That's a big problem, right? Because you need to have go to the doctor. You need to have some grown-ups help. That's a big problem. Let's see. What about, oh, this happens at my house a lot. Somebody else got to eat the last piece of cake. Does that, that feels like a big problem, doesn't it? At our house, at my house, people think it's a big problem. But it's a really little problem. You know why? Because we could make another cake. We could um, make some other kind of dessert. You could you could always use your words and say, I didn't like that, but that's a little problem if somebody eats the last piece of cake or like the last cookie or brownie or something. It's a little problem. What about this test? What do you think? Somebody pushes you down. Big problem or little problem? That's a bigger problem. I mean, you need to use your words, but you might need to get a grown up to help you, right? and somebody could get hurt. So I'm going to put that next to the big problem side. Let's see, I don't think you can even see that if I put it over there. I don't think you can see my other problems. Those are the big problems. Now, let's see. I have one more problem. You don't get to sit by your best friend. Is that a big problem or a little problem? You're right. That's a little problem. A little problem because you could sit by your best friend another day or you could um, get to sit where you want to sit. You could maybe choose that at, later on in the day. Um, but that's a little problem that you can think of a way to handle that problem. So I'm going to put that on the little problem side. Okay, so that was just a quick reminder here about big problems and little problems. Big problems need a grown-up or somebody else to help you. A little problem, you can think of some solutions or some ways to solve that problem on your own or with a grown-up too, but um, it's not dangerous. So just remember that when you're spending a little more time with your brothers and sisters that sometimes things are big problems and you need help of your grown-up and sometimes things are little problems and you can try to work it out because um, it's not dangerous. Okay, thank you. See you later. Mwah.